Well, here I am into this new world that I found myself in. It's a world full of words like oncologists, surgeons, CAT scans, doctor reports, um, blah, blah, blah. It's all that kind of jazz. So I do have a CAT scan they want me to do. Scheduled for two days after the doctor's report to see if the cancer has traveled anywhere else. And I'm determined I'm going to be brave. I'm going to put a smile on my face. And um, I'll get through this thing. And I do go there. I have to drink the stuff that they give you. It, it takes about an hour to go through your body before they do the actual scan. And um, I'm sitting there um, um, and I pick up the Bible that's laying on the table and I come across Psalms 23. I have heard that scripture all my life, but usually it seems like you only use that for funerals and I felt like it was more geared about the dead than the living. But this particular day, it gives me a sense of restoration and peace and it's actually been the scripture that I've carried close to my heart all through the last 10 months. And um, I go ahead and I do the CAT scan. The lady that's in administering it, I am trying to watch her f to see if um, she changes when she does the CAT scan on me to, um, you know, either way, like if it if it's showing up anything and she's got this look of pity, like, oh my gosh, you poor thing, you're ate up with it, or if she's kind of looking relieved, like, well, she might be okay after all, but I cannot decipher any of her facial um, gestures, so I guess, well, I'm going to have to wait the week to find out the report because, you know, that's what I've had to do for the last two weeks anyway is nothing but wait, so this is no different, and um, I uh, get through that okay, and I, of course, I'm into like 48 hours of having nothing but carrot juice. Still doing really good with that, except for it's keeping me really busy because the juicer that I had, um, you had to juice it kind of like every time you needed a juice, so that keeps you busy and tied down in the kitchen all day long. But, of course, this is until I find out more about the diet and how better ways to make it work for my life, this is what I'm going to do. Um, because I'm not going to feed the cancer, there is no way, and I will, um, I will do it the very hardest way I know how until I can find out, you know, make this more applicable to my life. So anyway, I'm still doing that, and it's working out really well. Yeah. I have band practice that night. Um, it's be the first time I play in a praise and worship band at our church. I play the keyboard, and it's a huge passion of mine. Um, I love it. I do it every Sunday, and look forward to it. Um, so anyway, it would be the first time I've seen the band members and the choir members since my doctor report, which a lot of them didn't even know I was sick because I didn't tell anyone uh, the whole time that I have been so sick. And so i um, kind of anxious to see them. And, of course, they're very, you know, loving, and they want to pray for me, and I have all their support, and that feels really good. Um, they pray for me that night, and um, um, one of the gentlemen... Um, said when during the prayer he said well he's seen a big angel standing right behind me and I had just prayed that that day that that day at the Cascan actually for you know that in the Bible it talks about he will give angels charge over us to keep us in all that ways and I just prayed that over my life that day and then that night I go to our band practice and a gentleman says this huge angel standing right behind me actually since then I've had several people tell me the same story that there's a huge angel that's kind of standing behind me kind of in a protective way and so that's been really kind of neat um, I even debated how much I wanted to tell you and share in this blog but this video uh, blog that I'm doing um, be, but it's kind of hard to separate the spiritual and the health because it, to me it's like one and the same I can't tell one without the other um, spiritual my spiritual walk is a very big part of my life and um, I've had encounters with angels you know throughout my life and they've all been awesome and very real to me I think you would have to have had lived under a rock not to have heard about angels and maybe even had encounters yourself but um, I don't you know I can't apologize um, for my walk with God or will I deny it and um, so that's just part of who I am and part of my healing process and um, so it's it just comes along with the whole deal because that is my life. This is who I am. But anyway, I um, I, I really I thought that was pretty cool that I had just prayed that that day and then he seen it, the angel um, standing behind me that night and um, I get through that day pretty good and then the next day um, would be like the third day I've done the juicing fast and um, I've had to take Tylenol PM. 
up until now, up until then, because my anxiety level has been so high that I almost kind of have been turned into a hypochondriac because I feel like every ailment, you know, I'm, I just am so an high anxiety that I'm just, I just am even feeling like I'm making up stuff because I'm just so out of control with my emotions on this. But I finally, by that Friday night, I did not have to take the Tylenol PM to sleep that night. I slept all the way through, great, and I haven't had to use it since. So I thought that was a really landmark in, in this in this um, time of my life. And um, I'm feeling like the juice is, is clear in my mind. I feel like mood, food medicates us. I, the longer I go on this diet, the more I'm convinced that food is has a lot of stuff in it that just does nothing but medicates us and makes us not really who we are. So I, um, of course, you know, I have the weekend, the first weekend of this new life of mine. Uh, we eat out a lot, so that's been kind of a challenge. Uh, restaurants are not healthy friendly. Um, it's hard to get anything. Um, I don't even know how to eat at, actually at this point in a restaurant. I just get a a salad with lettuce only because I know I can have you know the live food so I get a, a salad and you know I'm a little self-conscious obviously I can't I order water to drink and I have to get a salad and I can't even think of anything else I could have um, at this point so I get through you know it's just adjusting and trying to figure this whole thing out I go to church and it all feels surreal you know um, of course, I have, we have a fairly big church, about 12, 1,400 people, and I have all their support. A lot of people don't know I have cancer, but, um, but the ones that do, they're just, you know, very loving and pray for me. And I know I have my pastor's, all of his prayers and love, and so, you know, it's very encouraging. Um, you know, I hope if you're going through this, you have that kind of support because, you know, you can't have um, bad influence. and people that aren't positive in your life because your brain receives that so you need all the positives you can get and because um, it, it will determine your healing but anyway I get through that okay and um, that weekend and then I think that Monday I have a, or a doctor's um, appointment with a surgeon to read the results from the CAT scan my sister takes me to that um, she's been a real strength of mine through this and because she, you know, helps me receive the information the doctors give because it is a lot. And, you know, again, I'm, I'm, I'm anxious, you know. Um, it's a pressure. It's a load that you carry. And the um, CAT scan did not show that it traveled, so that was really good news. He wants to schedule the surgery ASAP to, to um, remove the rest of the tumor in the colon. And I don't tell him that I'm I probably am going to be going holistic. I just... Um, want to keep going until I want to make sure that I know that I know what I'm doing before I tell him. But that was good news that it had, the cancer had not traveled. Um, so, um, you know, there again, I'm, I'm going almost a week into my juicing fast and still no solid food, but still just as, um, just doing as well as I ever did. Actually, I'm feeling better. I mean, you know, because symptoms are going away, and I'm very um, excited about all that. Um, if it could give us a facelift, I think that would be awesome, but I don't think it's going to do that. But um, I am just real thrilled with the first week um, and very feeling very positive and very, every day I'm more determined that I know that I need to do this. Um, um, I want this to be a reality video blog. Um, I want this to be a go-to place for if anyone's going through this. That's the one thing that I um, thought would be really neat to have had going through this is just a place that uh, you could you could hear, you know, like someone that's going through what you are because that's what we do. We kind of feed off each other and, and um, help each other through times like this. So I... Um, I keep them about 10 minutes along and each blog and um, um, I'll pick up back where I left off and um, you know the human spirit is so strong that nothing can harm it. There's a, um, a quote that I love it says um, what um, lies behind us what lies before us are tiny matters compares to what lies within us and that is so true. I will see you next time. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye.